Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, Setting Up Google Sitemap. The first step to creating your Google Sitemap is to go to the Google Webmaster Tools page and log in with your Google account, email address, and password. Now if you don't have an account with Google, you can easily set one up here on this page as well. Once we sign in, we're going to be asked to add a website. Now if you get lost during any step of this phase, or any phase from here on out, just click on the question mark and you'll be able to find out exactly how to add the information that Google is asking for. So for our website, we're going to enter in onechoiceforfrogs.com and we're going to click Add Site. The next step, as you can see, is that we need to verify our site. We need to verify that we are the actual owner of the website One Choice for Frogs. Next, let's click on Verify Your Site. Here we're given the option to choose a verification method. We can add a meta tag to our website or upload an HTML file. Now I found it is extremely easy to upload an HTML file and we can leave it in our site and nobody needs to know about it and it can stay there and, no, and it causes no muss and no fuss for our website. So I'm going to click on Upload HTML File. Here it's telling me that I need to create the HTML verification file specified below and upload it to One Choice for Frogs. So now we're going to enter into our store editor to create the page. Before I go into the store editor, I am going to copy the file name minus .html at the end. Next, let's go into our store editor. Clicking on store control panel, then into store editor. I need to make sure that we are in advanced mode in order to add the page that we need to add. Click on the red arrow at the end and now we see that our menu options have changed and this now puts us in advanced mode. Click on contents and click on new. This allows us to create a new page within our Yahoo store and be able to put the ID as whatever we need the page to be. So now we are going to paste the page that Yahoo wanted us to create. Type, we're going to choose item and we're going to click continue. Now for the name, I also like to paste the name of the code that Google has given to me to verify the website. You have to give us some sort of name to this page for the Yahoo store to create it. Now I'm going to click update and our page is now created. I'm going to click back on my home page and I'm going to publish my website. Now this should only take a few, couple of minutes to publish for our website as we haven't made a lot of changes to our website. Now other websites might take a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and take a pause here and return once our website has completely published. Our store is done publishing and now we can go back to our screen that holds the Google Webmaster Tools. Next, we click on Verify. And that's it. We have successfully verified that we are the owners of One Choice for Frogs. Next, we're going to click on the sitemaps. Now, we have to add a sitemap in order to be able to really utilize the full power of Google Sitemaps. So we're going to click Add a Sitemap and choose a type. General Web Sitemap is the one you're going to choose. 
Next, it's going to ask you for your sitemap URL. We're going to go back into your store manager to get the URL. From this window, we'll click on Go to Manager. And on the left-hand side, underneath Promote, we're going to click on Search Engines. If you look, we have sitemap.xml enabled. If you do not have this clicked for Enable, make sure to do that now. This has to be enabled in order for the Yahoo Store to create the sitemap for you. Next, we are able to view the URL for our sitemap that Google needs to pick up all the pages within our store. Notice down here we see Google Sitemaps, and we're asked what our Google Sitemap verification file is. We can go ahead and paste the ID that we used and type in .html. Next, click Done. Notice the star next to Publish Order Settings. Make sure that you do this step. Click Publish Your Order Settings and you may be asked for your security code. Next, click the Publish button. Now you can move on to the next step go back to the webmaster tools and we can simply type in sitemap.xml. Next we can click add general website. You have now added your sitemap to your Google webmaster tools. Now this is going to take a couple of hours to update and even longer if you have many products but it's well worth the wait. So what I usually suggest is come back tomorrow, log in, and click on your sitemap, and you'll be able to make sure that everything looks okay. And that's it. You've installed your Google sitemap. Congratulations.